Zong plays. Uh, as you can see, we're going to play Max Payne 2, The Fall of Max Payne. Uh, I would do Max Payne 1, but at the moment there are some issues with the PC version. I can't wrap my head around. Um, I will look into it, but for now we are going to do Max Payne 2. And then if I can get Max Payne 1 working or get a Xbox version, we will play that afterwards. But yeah, let's get straight into it. The manor now. God, I turned out to be such a damsel in distress. They were all dead. Love kills. Did I love her? Was there a choice? The past is a gaping hole. You try to run from it. The more you run, the deeper, more terrible it grows behind you. Its edges yawning at your heels. Your only chance is to turn around and face it. We are at the sea. Repeat, we are at the sea. But it's like looking down into the grave of your love. Check the area. Hold your fire. Or kissing the mouth of a gun, a bullet trembling in its dark nest, ready to blow your head off. The hospital. Earlier that night. We're losing him. Multiple gunshot wounds. Pupils blown. Head trauma. God only knows what else. He's in shock. Star two large four IVs. Get him to ICU. He's not yeah. responding. This guy is a train wreck. We're losing him. When I woke up in the hospital earlier tonight, I thought it couldn't get any worse. But it does. I opened my eyes. <laughs> it's Max Payne. slid into focus. She was dead. I was hurt. My crime, what I had done, was like a hungry pit behind me. I had to run, get as far away from it as possible. The world was out of joint. I was hallucinating. I had to get away. Some good shit there, Max. Right, so off we go. Um, for those who have not played Max Payne 1, um, just to give you a quick background because I think they refer to it. Basically, your wife and child were killed in the first one. And it was some drug corporation thing. Um, your wife was doing a um, story about. And I will say, I do prefer Max Payne 1 and 2. 3 is good, but 3 is very different from these two. And just let people know, no, that's not his wife. And those who have seen the film, don't knock off the film, don't knock off the games because of the film. There was a blind spot in my head. A bullet-shaped hole where the answer should be. Call it denial. I wanted to dig inside my skull and scrape out the pain. He did. I'll deal with pain. He's as good as dead. Freeze, NYPD. Found him. I mean, a lot of blood loss and a lot of pain medication is going to do this to someone. See? Hey! 
Jim Bra Bravier. You're not going anywhere. What happened out there? You did it. Internal Affairs is breathing down my neck. Did you do it? You killed her. No, I can't. Oh, bullshit. I mean, that's one way to start a game to kill like most of your main characters off. Circles. And we've lost our guns. Fall back of course. The same hole you were trying to escape from. Only the hole's grown deeper. Alright, so let's get out of here. Tried to run from it. Ended Just severed out. head. Winterson was dead. I was a murderer. The manor. No. A false start. The hospital bed wasn't the beginning. It was past the point of no return. A fatal choice already made. And it would get worse before the end. The past is a puzzle, like a broken mirror. As you piece it together and you cut yourself, your image keeps shifting, and you change with it. It could destroy you, drive you mad. It could set you free. You, inside, drop your weapons and come out with your hands above your head. You'll see the choices you didn't know you'd made, like staying at work late to chat with a friend, instead of hurrying home to your family. Fan out, people. Circle around. Cover all the exits. Kissing her, I think of the cold laws of cause and effect. Bear those extra units. Call the central. We need every available unit here now. I am afraid. But I start again from the beginning. Trace my own steps to the scene of the crime. The darkness inside. Oh. New York City last night. I forgot how many cutscenes there were in this. Punished for what I had done, but Alfred Woden had kept his word. With his influence, ridiculously, I had emerged from my history of violence unscathed. A hero. I didn't thank him. I couldn't stomach it. I left the DEA. I went back to where I had started out. Back to the job. The NYPD. Reported shots fired in the warehouse there. Acknowledge. It's mine. I'm on it. It wasn't a call for a homicide detective, but I knew the address. The warehouse belonged to Vladimir Lem. He was connected to organized crime. We went back a while, like brothers caught on opposite sides in a civil war. His words. The one thing I like about the, the first two Max Paints is the, the cutscenes. There's no cutscenes apart from like the comic strip thing, and I really like that. Which I miss in number three, because obviously it's all cutscenes. I need backup. Unknown number of armed perps inside. Possible hostage situation. Ten four, backup is on its way. I'm going in. I'm just learning what the controls are. Jump. And then I'm sure right button on the mouse is full. Slow mo. Kept my eyes on the road, off the rear view mirror, and the road killed behind me. I chased lesser mysteries, other people's crimes. Ah, here we go. So off we go. NYPD. Whoa, easy officer, easy. Just cleaning the place. 
Come on, officer. It's all legit. I work for the squeaky cleaning company. You didn't hear anything suspicious just now? No, no. Oh, wait. <laughs> you mean the gun workshop upstairs? Take me there. Move. Sure, officer. If that's what you want. Some of this I remember, some of it I don't. Oh. Perhaps this guy's didn't fool me. He was leading me into a trap. Um, yeah, so with this, I kind of remember where I'm going, and sometimes I don't. So there's going to be times where I fly through it, then there's going to be other times where I'm just like, well, or I know a lot. Like, I normally do with these games. change the audio but put that up a bit more Finish her. Wait, the mob guys attacked us. I have no beef with you guys. You took them out. Listen, I work for Vladimir. Honey, you work for no one. <laughs> what do you want? We we can. NYPD, drop them. Finish her. Oh God, no! Like all the bad things in my life, it's done. Do the there, Max. Couldn't save her. After him, don't let him get away. How long can this place have been under the boat? The tunnel's the cramp, but we need to wrap this up. Kaufman wants us to move. I can see my health already, that I'm, like, struggling. Finally. Hey! Mona? Max, we gotta stop meeting like this. Mona! I can make it. Uh, press F9 to. R from start? Jesus. Okay. That's obviously my error. Take care of him. 
Fine, so we're back up to where we were. Uh, we're gonna see if we can get across here. If you think nothing can get to you, you're lying to yourself. At best, you're temporarily dead. A lightning bolt can reanimate you without a warning. So it was a case of just surviving. And I found some meds on the way, which I've used. My can tell. backup had arrived, but the cleaners were slipping away. that way. Excuse me, sir. I'm okay, damn it. Hey, we're working together on this. Do we want you to get sloppy pain? You screwed up. It's unacceptable that she's dead. You can do better. I played it as business as usual. But everything had changed the moment those elevator doors opened to reveal Mona. Annie Finn was a licensed gunsmith, licensed dealer in firearms. Right. The property owned by Vladimir Lem. Three groups. One, DOAs who had connections to Russian OC. Identified as Finn's employees. Two, the Mafia. And three, the clowns wearing the cleaning company jumpsuits. They mentioned a name, Kaufman. This one's evil. It has only started. I don't like it. I don't like it a bit. It's yours, Payne. It makes no sense. For you, Winterson, homicide. Sebastian Gate. It's going to be all over the news. The senator? Winterson was the ideal. What the job was all about. Someone to look up to. Bravora knew it, too. We got lucky. There's an eyewitness. She hovered over my shoulder, whispering warnings. I didn't want to listen. Mona was the suspect in Winterson's case. I didn't tell him I had seen her. I wanted to stall. Maybe it was because she was alive when everyone else kept dying on me. Survivor's guilt washed away. Detective Winnison's phone. Give me that. Your boyfriend. The computer search on the squeaky cleaning company and Kaufman had come up empty. I needed to talk to Vlad, get his version. Be the bearer of bad news on Annie Finn. Vlad had bought the old Ragnarok nightclub. He was renovating it into a trendy restaurant, vodka. Mona's appearance had triggered a dislocation, schizophrenia. I felt elation, but with it, fear that all the past evils had come along for the ride. Vlad! Mark! 911! Bad guys with big guns! They've got me pinned down at the entrance hall. Could use some help. Could use it now. I had to find another way to reach Vlad. No time to call backup. My case had a life of its own. I got in through the back door. Memories of my previous visit here lurked in the shadows. A musty smell under the coat of new paint. 
to present Max Payne, New York's finest, with the biggest mobster body count ever. Theater's guest, Max, I'd love to come and welcome you, but I'm busy dodging bullets and hiding under a desk at the moment. Everyone dead? Cool. We'll save it while I remember. And off we go. Someone was talking on the other line. Nothing to worry about, baby. I'm going to be all right. When haven't I been all right? Max is here now. You know Max. I'll call you when it's over. I love you, baby. Vlad was a perfect gentleman, reassuring his girlfriend. Vlad, shut up and stay alive. I'm coming. coming. Alright, You'll have more trouble taking them. You'd be surprised, lad. You'd be surprised. Nick the cowboy. It's that, Dad. You're Max Fan. Afraid so. Max! I'm Mike, Vladimir's friend. You are the sheriff. Let's go bail out your boss before he talks us all to death. Let's ride. They asked for it. Just follow the trail. No, got some heavy shit here. Tone it down. Just take one. Oh, get oh. Linerson would have found a way to do this nice, neat, and clean. Logic told me backup should be on its way. Someone must have heard the gunfire. We Logic was there. such a Up liar. The whole set for a two. The only way to do it. They chip one of ours, we go dental on them. <laughs> hey, what can you do? Huh? <laughs> It's a Max, my friend. It was fun for a moment there. But my gun doesn't have unlimited ammo. If you can, hurry. Big trouble. How did he get that so quick? Vlad wouldn't be able to hold on much longer if it wasn't too late already. Someone was talking on the other line. Vlad, shut up and stay alive. I'm coming. What the hell? Max, you heard him. He's coming for you. Max, these wise guys are really lousy shots. You should have no trouble. You're taking them. Hey, you're Max Payne. Afraid so. Max, 
I'm Mike, Vladimir's friend. You are the sheriff. Let's go bail out your boss before he talks us all to death. Let's ride. They asked for you. Just follow the trail. Now, got some help. <laughs> Winterson would have found a way to do this nice, neat, and clean. Logic told me backup should be on its way. Someone must have heard the gunfire. Logic was such a liar. That was bad. Vlad wouldn't be able to hold on much longer. If it wasn't right, too late we are. <laughs> <laughs> Finally got back to where we were. Um, if I release the bloopers of this, you will see how many times it took me to get back here. And let's just say it took a while. So we're doing it a bit smarter this time. How the hell do we get up? Die, Russian! Fucking die already! I 
Ready? Good it? You're not even trying! And that's Vlad. Vladimir Hang on, Vlad. Max! I'm coming. Safe while well, we remember. The way your hands are shaking, you couldn't hear the track. Shut up! Shut up and die, Russian! criminal mastermind he is wiping out everyone he sees as competition on the black market gun trade the mafia underboss has made a deal with someone powerful <laughs> what was it you did for a living again scout son or detective i have mended my ways evolved to a higher level vodka will be the best restaurant in the city i'll be rich and famous annie was a princess they killed her for no reason. You hurt your hand just now? <laughs> a hot date yesterday. Can I tempt you? Let's pretend I'm on duty. Home, sweet home. Something in the night felt like a door had been opened. An echo of the past. An old monster snapping its eyes open in the depths of my brain. Closing your eyes forces you to look at the darkness inside. And now, a dress unknown. I hadn't slept in a long time. When I did, my dreams were nightmares. I was trapped in a nightmare. My evil double had taken my girlfriend. In a nightmare, every choice you make is a wrong one. I'm sure that's how I am. I had somehow slipped into a twisted alternate reality. Noir York City. I would wake up at night, afraid that day was a dream I'd forget. The double was John Mira. He was the devil incarnate, a fallen angel. The flesh of fallen angels. He was a serial killer. He had framed me for his murders. Oh, I. I was hiding. Bear with me. I just saw sound. I, I woke to a knock at my door. Right, up we so go. Slipped a note under the door. It was a clue. No, no. Nah. Guess we're running after seeing if we can find the person who just slipped the picture under a door. I mean, I'm glad he's hallucinating because I'd be very worried if this was uh, where he really lived.
We need to hit the place now. Payne's in there. They know that you know. You must run. Max Payne! Drop your weapons and come out with your hands above your head! This is your final warning! Run, Payne, run! We are gonna shoot! You don't need a lawyer. Just tell us what you did. Pain, you're done. Everything you say will be used against you. What are you hiding? She's alive, isn't she? People get near you, they die. You killed your family. You killed them all. Confess. Do I get my phone call? You already got it. Don't push your luck. Sit down. We're just getting started. Hey, sit down now. Don't get any bright ideas. Sit down now. Ah! Off your weapon. Come on, how good. I mean, he's screwed up. When you're waking up, the world is a blur. What was clear in a dream suddenly makes no sense. No surreal rescues, no easy, magic way out. But you are awake. I had woken up to a knock at my door. Mona, I was wondering when you'd show up. Max, I'm not here to kill you. Aren't you going to ask me in? You are in danger. Both of us are. There's a contract out on us. There's no us in this. You're a murder suspect. I should take you in. I was hiding behind the badge. The real thing is never what you think it will be. Sniper! They found me. This was a mistake. Ow, so soon. Wait, Mona! She had woken me up. She had come and gone. And now I was being shot at. I had to catch her. Find out what was going on. Hold it! Mona! Hey. Something was barring the door from the other side. It jammed the elevator. Oh, no, you won't! Get out! Get out! No one's driving me out of my home. Careful with that gun, lady. The detective from 304? I have another gun like this if you need it. I didn't want to shoot. He gave me no choice. This is my home. I have a right to defend it. Yeah, I totally agree with you, love. But where's your other gun? Okay, let's see that shotgun. Come in. Thank you. My pleasure. Lock the door. Don't open it for anyone but the police. Um. See, they're renovating, but it's too quiet. They're up to no good. The doctor gave me pills. You should. How do I throw grenades? Options, controls, combat, uh... Rivers reload... Shoot, M1, secondary F.
was that something I saw on TV? I had found the sniper's hideout. The room was full of surveillance equipment. They had been spying on me for days. Um, there are two bloopers. Pro months even. Proper bloopers. My every action observed, recorded, analyzed. The place was the proof every paranoiac dreams of. The building trembled as in a seizure. The sound of an explosion came from the direction of my apartment. I knew I was gonna go. They say they're renovating, but it's too quiet. They're up to no good. The doctor gave me pills for my hip. But it's all better now. You need to take them. You look a bit They're in the bathroom. With all these cleaners, you'd think that the place would be neater. I heard them talking. Oh, I remember sunlit days in the countryside with my Ben. Or was that something I saw on TV? Oh, fuck. They say they're renovating, but it's too quiet. They're up to no good. The doctor gave me pills for my hips, but it's all better now. You should take them. You look a bit hip. They're in the dark. With all these cleaners, you'd think that the place would be neater. I heard them talking in the... Well, uh... Save there. I had found the sniper's hideout. Sunlit days in the countryside... Right, we're back here, ladies and gents. Um... Yeah. I'm not in the best time with Max Payne. The building Payne. trembled as in a seizure. The sound of an explosion came from the direction of my apartment. trembled as in a seizure. The sound of an explosion came from the direction of my apartment. The building trembled as in a seizure. The sound of an explosion came from the direction oh of my, my apartment. Save it here. I wasn't going to get through without the code. Behind the door were the suites. 
they weren't an improvement on the regular apartments. Right, so. Got a bit of health, so we'll save the game. I mean, I would like some health, but, you know. Looks like I'm not going to get well on. Night. It's a late goodbye. Hey! Hey! NYPD. I need the code at the seventh floor door. Sure, sure. I know it. I know it. Wait. Oh, yeah. 667. The <laughs> neighbor of the beast. Get it? Yeah. I get it. Okay. You stay here. Okay. In our headlights, apparently. It's not the same thing. And you're telling me they didn't see, like, their companions' dead bodies? I mean. Come on. Oh, shit. They really wanted me dead. They really wanted me dead. Whoever of Max is pissed off, he's pissed on right off. The explosion in my apartment had started a fire. The flames couldn't burn away my past. They only made the shadows behind me leap higher. I had to get down to the street. Yeah, thank Max. Cleaner's a sign of her Help! passage. Anybody? <laughs> oh, oh, bless you. This is where the fun starts. Uh, no sweat. 
use of me. Goddamn slime bags, job. open up! There are people trapped I'll in here! A cop like you! All right, follow my lead. Yeah, <laughs> I was a cop. <laughs> oh, the sons of bitches have locked the door! You coming to my rescue? Something. More of them! <laughs> Freeze, sucker! Thank the fuck I heard that drop. The gas valve was in the utility room. With the gas turned off, the fire on the third floor was no longer a problem. All the medication I can get. To find a way out. Nope, oh, that's blown, so we can't do that. Okay, so do we go back up the floor? Like I said, some of this I remember, and other times my brain just goes, well... Oh, it said the fire on the third floor. I'm on the fourth floor now. I'm wondering if we have to go back to my apartment.
I was wondering where the fuck the guy with the shotgun was then. They hit you home? It's like a friggin' kindergarten out there. What next? A kid with a bag full of guns and a head full of video games turns the house into a shooting gallery. Breaks my heart. What the hell's going on? With me, he meant. I had my doubts about the cleaners spying on me. About Mona. According to Vladimir Lem, the mob captain Vincent Gognitti is behind the hits. Seems he's made a deal with an unknown third party. Maybe the cleaners. I don't know. Something doesn't fit. If it's true, I've been added on Gogniti's list. I came close to lying to Bravura. I told myself I needed to find out the facts first before others could screw up the evidence. But that was an excuse. Mona had gotten under my skin. I couldn't close my eyes to any of it anymore. It was more important than the job. She had tried to reach me, left her number. Risky leaving your number at the police station. Trace the call and you'll see I'm talking to you from Hong Kong. Winterson. I'll give you my address. Make sure you're not followed. Max, what's going on? What do you mean? Don't do anything stupid. Mona's place was a closed down funhouse based on a 90s TV show. The show's cancellation had been the kiss of death to it. Up we go. I felt like I was walking into a trap. I felt guilty, like I was about to get caught. Here's Puppy Max. front door. I had wondered why the place wasn't packed with hobos and stray dogs. Little wonder. We'll save it there, because, um, yeah. sneaking up on you. You'll hear broken echoes of it everywhere, like a bad replay. You get mad at everybody for reminding you about it, even if it's all in your head. When entertainment turns to a surreal reflection of your life, you're a lucky man if you can laugh at the joke. Luck and I weren't on speaking terms. Or maybe the place was just too lame to be funny. Fun House is a linear sequence of scares. Take it or leave it is the only choice given. Yes, this is he. Makes you think about free will. Have our choices been made for us because of who we are? Funny enough, I've never been to a Fun House like this. I would love to though. I was behind the backdrops, getting warm. When I'd first met Mona, her twin sister had been killed. It must have felt like madness, schizophrenia in reverse. Your other self suddenly falling silent. We had both lost our loved ones. And I'll say her sister died locked. in the first one. I could have knocked, but I felt an urge to snoop around more, keep acting paranoid. I pretended I had a choice in the matter. And ladies brought to you in part by Gold Touch Brandy. Goodbye. 
Now, I'll tell you one thing, Mona. You're no singer. You've switched tactics. We need to talk. Bring me a towel, will you? Now that you're here, you can watch my back while I get dressed. All she had told me was that someone wanted us dead. The way she was acting, I was the only one in danger here. <laughs> You'll have to give me a lot more than that. The inner circle. What of it? The secret society is after everyone who knows of their existence. Come off it. Prove it. I have a contact inside. He's willing to talk. Alfred Woden? No. Anyways, I can take you to him. Okay. She wasn't telling me the whole truth. Let's go. The circle goes back to the centuries-old Masonic cults. Corruption and assassinations reaching all the way to the presidential level. Right. And here I was, thinking conspiracy theories had gone out of style. We're here. So are they. I'm the only one handling a piece here. Which floor? They're after him. The elevators work with the apartment keys and from the desk here. They've jammed most of them to the floors they're on. The guard set off the alarm before they were killed. We need to do this fast. Shouldn't we just wait for the cops? Here, so we can stay in touch. You operate the elevator from here and I'll go I'll up. I'll go up. You're the man. <laughs> Right, we'll save it there so we don't get it. How come you're alive anyway? I saw you take a bullet to the head. Maybe it's still there. Keeps me focused. For this to work, I was gonna have to trust her. Let's get to work. Cleaners ahead and to the left, guarding Corcoran's door at the opposite end of the hall. Walked across the room, slow, taking a time like she was a supermodel. <laughs> The door's locked. Try the door on the far right, next to the large painting. You can get to Corcoran's place through the balcony. Well, that's you! They're cleaning other apartments as well. Corcoran said that other inner circle members live in the building. On the balcony. I'm in. Gotta look around. Nothing here. Check upstairs. I'm going upstairs. Ah. Floor plans in front of me. I can guide you through. How come you're alive anyway? I saw you take a bullet to the head. Maybe it's still there. Keeps me focused. For this to work, I was gonna have to trust her. Let's get to work. Cleaners ahead and to the left, guarding Corcoran's door at the opposite end of the hall. Well, that's just hey, you coward. They're cleaning other apartments as well. Corcoran said that other inner circle members okay. the building. Okay, I'll heal myself completely and we'll save. I'll keep going. I'm in. Gotta look around. I'm going upstairs. Strip it down. Papers, photos, everything needs to go. Not without a single piece of evidence. In the photo, a group of men posing in front of a manor house. Corcoran was there. Senator Gate was there. So was Alfred Woden. So it was true. All bets were off. The inner circle was involved.
So we'll save it exactly where we were. Found a body, a thin guy in a suit. Not Corcoran. He's a big man. Fat. Mona, I missed the elevator. Cleaners on another floor ordered it. Nothing I can do. I've called the police! The police are coming! I've called them! They'll get you! I am the police. Max, go back upstairs through Corcoran's apartment. From there, go to the lobby into the next door apartment the cleaners came from. You should be able to make the jump to the balcony below from there. Jeez, she doesn't want much, does she? She wants me to jump over balconies and everything. Fucking hell. Alright, so back through it. Oh, I see. Max, go back upstairs through Corcoran's apartment. From there, go to the lobby and to the next door apartment the cleaners came from. You should be able to make the jump to the balcony below from there. Like, where the hell are these people coming from? Save. Alright, let's get that ready. Get them ready. I think see, I love them safes. Get an elevator or
But it came out. Starting to sound like a broken record here. More cleaners to the right in the lobby behind the door. Thanks. Cleaner was guarding. I'll go to them. But which apartment was he? Because he was just here. Why would I risk my life on a window cleaner when I can use the elevator? Don't hear. <laughs> Found a window cleaner's lift. I'm headed down. Max? Yeah. I don't know. I just just wanted to say. Damn it. Mona? Mona? Mona! Mona, I found a window cleaner's lift. I'm headed down. Max? Yeah. I don't know. I just just wanted to say. Damn it. Mona? Mona? Mona! I didn't say any more for any more. Kaufman. Oh, Kaufman, yeah, that's fine. Find him. Take care of him. Um, I'll we'll definitely save it here. This is when it gets tense, telling. when I'm like that. NYPD, freeze! Easy! Don't move! Payne, what are you doing? What are you doing? The million dollar question I didn't have the answer to. At all? I was following a lead. She was helping me. She is a fugitive murder suspect, for Christ's sakes. I was trying to save those people from the cleaners. The two cases are connected, mine and Winterson's. Senator Gate was killed by the cleaners. They are connected. Winterson could have them both. 
She doesn't back you up. I was doing my job. I'm sorry to do this, Payne, but it's for your own good. Hand me your guns. I'm putting you to a desk job. Start by writing a report on what the hell happened on the Upper East Side. Fraternizing with the enemy, I had stepped over the edge. The cartoon moment when the gravity waits for the coyote to realize his mistake before the plunge. Get yourself to a counselor. You're falling apart. When you're ready to go to AA, come talk to me. Get your act together. And get someone in here to help me with this mess. I was mad. I would be like, I don't wait for you anymore. Well, Pervora. I'm on suspension. Fuck you. Uh, that's how I would be. Alright, we'll save it there. And we will call it a one there. Um, I do the believe there is 30... No what? 21? 31? Cool chapters? Off. We've done 7 in right part now. 1, so hopefully the next episode, the He's next Zong plays will be yeah. chapter 2, well, part 2, and then Better. part 3. But thank you for joining. Um, I, ask me? We'll pause it for a sec because he's talking. Um, thank you for joining. Um, obviously we'll continue with Max Payne 2. Um, and then we will maybe play Max Payne 3, I'm not too sure yet. Um, but we'll see how it goes. Until next time, guys. Thank you very much.